In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Uh, I am beginning a, a series of Masses with the Mass intention for the intercessory prayer of the week. It's so important for us as a church, as parishes, to pray uh, for the future of the church and of our parishes. So I offer this Mass for this week's intercession, that we may be inspired by the Holy Spirit into, the, into a time of renewal and mission. We celebrate also the feast of uh, St Ignatian, Ignatius, founder of the Jesuits or the Society of Jesus. And um, uh, you know, he, he just followed Jesus who left his home circumstances to offer himself to preach to the world around him. So did Ignatius, offered himself to the church pass on knowledge of Jesus and he did so by completely insofar as he could modeling his life on Christ as, uh, as St Paul says in the first reading the first reading that is uh, given for the feast or memorial of St Ignatius so we pray for that that we will model our lives on Christ and so be missionaries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who raised up St Ignatius of Loyola in your church, to further the glory of your name, grant that, by his help, we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth, and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do at all, do it for the glory of God. Never do anything offensive to anyone, to Jews or Greeks or to the Church of God, just as I try to be helpful to everyone at all times, not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everybody else, so that they may be saved. Take me for your model, as I take Christ. The Word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from all his distress. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They like nothing those who revere him. Strong lands suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them, If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here, intending to build a tower, would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers will all start making fun of him, saying, Here is a man who started to build and was unable to finish. Or again, what king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other who advanced against him with 20,000. If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple until he gives up all his possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. So Ignatius wanted to um, mould himself on our Lord Jesus Christ, give himself totally to his way of life. And he just sort of read the Gospels and said, right, 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 I'll do that. Uh, that's why he called his society, the Society of Jesus, or the Jesuits. And that's the first lesson to us. People should see Christ when they see us. Secondly, uh, he um, was a soldier, and you know he modelled his new, as it were, spiritual army on his discipline as a soldier. And obviously, this involved uh, all sorts of uh, uh, strong learning and discipline to do so. So the result, however, at a time of great difficulty in the church, just after the Reformation, was that he brought together a powerful force. And it's a lesson for us today uh, that we need to concentrate our forces on being a true Christian so that we can represent Christ and as Saint Ignatius said I'm doing everything for the glory of God he's got a, got a name just as a soldier has got a name when he is attacking a city or something like that or a fortress uh, whatever it takes, let's go there. Um, 
Perhaps that's another lesson to us, that religion will not take over our lives, Christ will not take over our lives. But if we've got him at the centre, the focus, the one with glory, then somehow all the rest of our lives will fall into place and will achieve much not only as a church, but in our home circumstances. So let's pray that our lives will show the virtues of Christ. And secondly, that our lives focus on our Lord, will actual fact bear fruit in many, many ways and be much deeply satisfying and contented. Lord, hear us. And we pray for the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, that they will um, uh, uh, continue their great mission in differing circumstances. Lord, hear us. And finally, we pray for our own needs and we pray for the mission we have here in our church. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear all our prayers. Grant what is good. Help us with St Ignatius to do everything we do for your glory and honour, you who live and reign for ever and ever. <clears throat>
her son in the hives. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the Resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears> to <throat> him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you 
always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, eternal life to us who receive it. Jesus Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to take part in this communion spiritually by making a spiritual communion, the prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated. From you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving <clears throat> in honour of St Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end through Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish to... <clears throat>
emphasize in the next couple of weeks the signing up for the Rydal meeting, you know, our parish meeting, parishes, where are they going? What, what, what's, what's the direction of our parishes? And uh, it's so important that, first of all, you sign up, and secondly, you'll find in the new newsletter a form just saying, well, what do you think the parish is for? And uh, just asking, what would, you, what would you like it to be? Your dream, your vision. Um, everybody has a, a, a stake in this. Please reply to those inquiry forms. Please try and come to the Rydal meeting. We do need to book because <clears throat> it's a very expensive day and it's expensive because I want to get the right circumstances. Do understand that we've not been able to get anywhere nearer. Hining is shut and <clears throat> uh, uh, Borbank is, of course, a nursing home and is subject to whatever regulations come up. Um, <clears throat> so it is a more limited at this moment uh, as we come to the end, but have to be careful of COVID. I just also remind you that Sunday Mass is, of course, at two of our churches, Grange and Arnside, you still have to book. We just have to fit people in, although you needn't book for Christ the King. On Sundays, it's a bigger church and uh, we can fit in people. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.